Imagine this. In the cold, foggy forests of Sweden, there is a vehicle that could change the course of a battle. This armored transport, with its unique history and incredible flexibility, became a symbol of Swedish military power. In this story we will tell you about the PBV-302, an armored vehicle that has been saving lives and ensuring victory on the battlefield since the 1960s. Did you know that this armored vehicle is still in service? Or maybe its fate in Ukraine will surprise you. Find out all the details right now. PBV-302 is a Swedish armored infantry fighting vehicle. Developed in the 1960s when the military needed an effective means of transportation for their soldiers. Before that, Sweden had the PBV-301 armored vehicle, but it didn't live up to expectations. Outdated technology, weak armor, and mobility problems forced the need for something new. Engineers at Haglunds and Sonar took on the challenge of creating a vehicle that could withstand attacks and move quickly across various terrains. The first prototype of the PBV-302 was built in 1962, and soon after it went through several tests. Considering Sweden's conditions, the vehicle had to be not only protected but also mobile. This was crucial because Sweden's terrain includes both flatlands and mountainous areas, which could become serious obstacles for military vehicles if they weren't versatile. One of the main advantages of the PBV-302 was its armor. Although it wasn't overly thick, it was strong enough to protect against small arms fire and even some types of mines. If infantry can't move safely they lose their mobility and effectiveness. The armor of the PBV-302 gave enough confidence to the troops inside, who could fight from within the vehicle. What else made the PBV-302 unique? Its speed and maneuverability. The vehicle could reach a top speed of 66 km per hour, which was an impressive figure for an armored vehicle of its time. Importantly, it could cross various obstacles including water barriers and muddy terrains, making it versatile on any terrain. The vehicle's appearance was also distinctive. The PBV-302 had a characteristic shape with a low profile and fairly wide tracks, which helped maintain stability on various surfaces. It looked more like an armored spine than a traditional military vehicle. This shape not only made it practical but also intimidating in the eyes of the enemy. The armament of the PBV-302 is also worth mentioning. It was equipped with a 20mm automatic cannon, which could effectively target enemy units, including light armored vehicles and infantry. The troops inside could engage in combat without leaving the vehicle, providing them with protection and the ability to react quickly to threats. In 1966, the PBV-302 was introduced into the Swedish military, and its capabilities were immediately recognized in various units. Initially, it was used for transporting infantry and creating mobile combat groups. Infantry could quickly be moved from place to place, and the vehicle's weapons provided them with necessary firepower. Of course like any military equipment the PBV-302 was not perfect. As technology advanced, it became clear that the vehicle needed some improvements. In response, the Swedish military made several modifications, improving its armor, suspension, and adding new fire control systems. One of the significant modifications was the enhancement of the vehicle's protection. The PBV-302 received additional armor plates and more powerful components, increasing its survivability on the battlefield. This allowed soldiers to feel safer, while commanders could be confident in the reliability of their equipment. However, despite all the improvements, time passed, and the equipment became outdated. By the late 1980s, the PBV-302 was no longer able to compete with newer armored vehicles, so the work began on creating a new machine. But the PBV-302 still remained in service and continued to serve as an armored vehicle for several more decades. The PBV-302 didn't just serve in Sweden, it was also used by other countries. In the 1990s, Sweden began exporting this vehicle and several countries including Finland and Norway adopted it. All of these countries highly appreciated its versatility and durability, as the PBV-302 could operate in various conditions. In 2014, the PBV-302 was officially retired from the Swedish military. However, this didn't mean the end of its career. Instead, Sweden began transferring some of its armored vehicles to other countries. Ukraine's military also received several hundred of these vehicles as part of military aid, marking an important step in strengthening Ukraine's defense amid the ongoing conflict. Ukrainian soldiers immediately recognized the advantages of the PBV-302, especially in the harsh conditions of combat, where mobility and protection are crucial. These vehicles provide effective infantry movement and enable quick responses to changes on the battlefield. The transfer of the PBV-302 to Ukraine is not just aid. It's an example of how military equipment can continue to serve for decades. 
Even after all these years, these armored vehicles remain an essential part of defense and continue to help soldiers on the front lines. Now, as the PBV-302 finds a new home and its story continues, we can confidently say that this vehicle deserves respect. It has not only stood the test of time but is also continuing to contribute to modern armed forces. So, the story of the PBV-302 is not just about one vehicle. It's a story of progress, refinement, and durability. A machine that has served for decades is still fulfilling its role today. If you enjoyed this story and want to learn more about military equipment and history, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Leave a like if you found it interesting and write a comment about what you think of the PBV-302. We're always happy to discuss such exciting topics with you.